Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are very excited to finally present you the truss rod rotting jig and its three variations. Straight for double action truss rods, concave for OPM necks and convex for normal neck builds. The concave and convex feature the fender curvature. This jig is made out of polyethylene featuring handles on both side walls in order to properly fix the neck piece on its base. Two stoppers to determine and lock the length for the rotting area and guidelines to properly align the neck piece within the jig. The router base is compatible with the usual four routers considered in other jigs. Bosch JKF600, Dewalt D26200, Makita RT0700C and Makita 3709. Apart from the acrylic template for the router base, we will also include in this pack the acrylic template for the router plunge base. Speaking of routers, the router bits we'll use for the following works are 3.5mm for the carbon rod cavities, 5.2 for single action truss rod cavities, and 6.2mm for double action truss rod cavities. You can find them on the video description. So let's proceed. This neck piece will be machined for a straight truss rod channel in order to use a double action truss rod, meaning it allows a two way adjustment. We have previously marked its end, in this case, this is the neck heel, so the truss rod axis will be on the headstock. The truss rod bullet is larger than the truss rod itself. So we've used this template, also available on a rep store, throughout this cavity. Now we have to align the next center line with the jig center line. This perpendicular line defines where the neck heel should be placed. Let's stick some double sided tape. When using the handles, remember to not over tight. The handles help the neck piece to stay in place and they should be used carefully, otherwise you might move the neck from its position. The acrylic rotter base features three alignment positions, the middle one for the truss rod channel and the side ones for routing the offset carbon rod channels. Considering the bit placement and your drawings, fix the locker to ensure the router stops where it is needed. Now we'll proceed for the carbon rod channels. This jig is really helpful as you don't need to remove or adjust the neck piece. The only action needed is to change the position on the acrylic rotter base. The offset length is predefined to what we consider as the standard, 11mm. Our drawings feature the carbon rod channels and a little bit further than the truss rod, so we have to adjust the stopper position. The channel length will vary on whether you want to spend some time sanding the carbon rod edges to make them round, to fit properly on the round profile caused by the bit.
Now we should proceed to route the other carbon rod channel. For the single action thrust rod, we will proceed with the concave variation of the jig. Same principle. Align the neck heel mark with the jig guideline. We have previously made this cavity for the thrust rod anchor. You can do it with a chisel, a CNC or a dremel with the inlay base. This thrust rod channel requires a more complex preparation. The length of the channel is shorter than the thrust rod's length and the channel is not routed until the neck heel. An angled hole will be made on the neck heel surface and that is where the truss rod bullet will fit and also provide you the axis. You need to establish a mark starting from the neck heel, in this case we'll proceed with 32mm and adjust the stopper afterwards. And now the convex variation of the jig. For this case we already trimmed the neck piece in order to exemplify the angled hole drilling process. We have marked the most common length for this skunk stripe channel in a one piece maple neck. Once more, don't forget to adjust the stopper on both hands. For the angled hole in the neck heel, we'll use the F-style truss rod drilling jig. You should proceed drilling until it reaches the truss rod channel. We hope you enjoy the truss rod routing jig. Check out our website to know more about it, all the jigs, tools and supplies. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned to more videos.